Seattle researchers are hoping that llamas, llamas, that's right, can help in the fight against coronavirus. It appears llamas produce special antibodies that they hope can lead to a treatment. Cairo 7's Graham Johnson spoke with a researcher whose work depends on a llama named Marley. Researchers at Seattle Children's have launched more than 50 projects related to coronavirus, including work with llamas. They're cute and mostly friendly, and llamas have something most animals don't. Have this um, strange property of producing these small, simple antibodies. John Aitchison at Seattle Children's Research Institute tells me that means llamas hold great promise in the fight against coronavirus. Along with colleagues at the Rockefeller University, his hopes are on a llama named Marley. Marley's living a pretty good life, generally. <laughs> He's in a free range, basically, on a farm in, uh, in the Berkshire Mountains. Soon after COVID arrived in America, researchers injected Marley with the spike protein from coronavirus. That's the pointy part you see in these images. It does not make llamas sick, but does allow them to naturally produce antibodies called nanobodies collected in blood samples. These are early days. Um, I will, I'm happy to report that Marley is uh, producing nanobodies that we uh, that look promising so far. The next step is to isolate specific nanobodies in the lab, find ones that work, and produce them in bacteria. The idea eventually is to make a therapy for coronavirus patients, a treatment that might be administered deep in the lungs to keep COVID from spreading. I don't think there's a biologist in the world who's not thinking about this right now. Researchers in Belgium and Texas have a head start. A llama named Winter was already producing antibodies for other coronaviruses, and scientists have now created an antibody that, according to initial tests, blocks COVID-19. The Seattle Children's research is moving ahead, too. We're rushing this along as quickly yeah. as possible. So um, we hope to have um, our first nanobodies within a couple of weeks. It could take a while for a therapy to be ready for patients, but the same antibodies might be used sooner to develop a simple COVID test where you spit on a stick and get results as quickly as a home pregnancy test. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.